Overall, mushroom logs are pretty tough once they are fully colonized with the fungus you've previously inoculated into them. Logs that were inoculated in the spring or the previous year should come through a severe winter unscathed if the logs are properly stacked. Even newly inoculated logs, if properly stacked, can hunker down into the holding phase during the deep freeze and resume growth in the spring. When choosing an appropriate stacking configuration, you'll take into account the strain, age and overall health of the log, how severe your winters are, and how protected your shiitake yard is. With all stacking methods, there's no need to tarp or cover the logs during the winter because the logs benefit from rain and snowfall. In climates with severe winters, keep the logs low to the ground so they can be protected from freeze-drying winds by a blanket of snow. Logs that are bundled together and stacked close to the ground get minimum wind exposure. This stack is called the low lean-to and is especially good stack for logs you've just recently inoculated this fall. Logs are low enough to the ground to protect them from weather, but only one end of the log actually rests on the ground, minimizing contact with other invasive fungi. Place the biggest logs, or those with the thickest bark, to the outsides of the stack, protecting the smaller logs that can easily dry out. In areas that have milder winters, try a high lean-to stack. This is the same concept as the low lean-to, except in gentler climates, logs don't need to be so low to the ground and can be stacked at a higher angle. For northern areas that have a lot of space in the mushroom yard, try an open low lean-to. This is identical to the low lean-to, but there are fewer logs in the course. This useful stack can be used as your primary stack right from inoculation in the spring no need to restack to get ready for winter because the logs had all summer to colonize and can tolerate less protection as offered by the low lean-to. The open stack also allows for easy harvest of natural fruiting early spring and late fall. Don't have a lot of space to lay out logs in your laying yard? Try a crib stack. In cold snowy areas, stack the logs in a low crib stack constructed in tight bundles or layers, big logs to the outer edges. Try not to stack greater than knee high or as high as the average snow depth for your area to keep the logs protected. Growers in mild winter climates will often just use a high crib stack and often don't need to adjust the stack for winter storage because they have plenty of rain and the mycelium will continue to grow through the winter. Only mild weather climates should use the A-frame stack for winter storage. It should be used only with logs that are well colonized and have seen at least a season of good production. The stack is prone to drying and collapsing unless you are a master stacker and have constructed a sound stacking frame. While it may seem excessive to restack logs for winter storage, it is crucial for the longevity of log health. Happy hefting!